Hey, Geometry, Chapter 1, Section 3. This is Example 5. It gets a little bit more complicated here. We are going to find the coordinates of D. D is going to be an end point of DF. We are given, we're given that E is a midpoint. So this is the coordinates for my midpoint. And F, F is one of my end points. Okay? F is an end point. D is what we're looking for. D is the first end point. And we are given the midpoint. So let's look at our formula here. Our formula, our x-coordinate of our midpoint and our y-coordinate of our midpoint were equal to, well, we took the x from our first point and we added it to the x of our second point and we divided by 2. And we took the y of our first point and we added it to the y of our second point and we divided it by 2. Okay, so here's our formula, and this is what we're equal to. So basically, this midpoint x-coordinate is going to be coming from adding the two x-coordinates together and dividing by 2. So let's fill in what we have. Our midpoint x-coordinate is negative 6. That's a negative 6 right there. What is the first point's x-coordinate? We don't know. So that's going to be equal to, we don't know. What is the second point's x coordinate? Oh, that's a negative 5. So we fill that in. And then we just divide by 2 to fill out the rest of the formula. Right, so this is the x coordinate here, right? And this is the x coordinate over here. So these two have to be equal to each other. And that's all I've done is I've filled in what x from my midpoint is. And I don't know what x of my first point is. That's my x from my d. And that's my x from my f, which is negative 5. So from here, you need to solve the equation. So if you are dividing by 2, you need to get rid of that first. So the opposite of dividing is multiplying. So I multiply both sides by 2. That cancels those two over here. That becomes negative 12 is equal to x plus negative 5. And then to get rid of the negative 5, I'm going to add 5 to both sides. And so negative 12 plus 5 would be a negative 7 is equal to my x1. Or my x from my point D, if you want to write it x from point D. Then we need to do the exact same thing for our y coordinates. So my y coordinate. Okay, my y-coordinate from my midpoint is a 4. So 4 is equal to, again, I don't know what the y-coordinate from my point D is. And if you want to call that y point D, you could. And I'm going to add that to my y-coordinate from my endpoint, my other endpoint. So that's a negative 3. And then I'm going to put that all over 2. Going through my order of operations, again, the first thing I do is get rid of the 2. It is being divided by 2, so I multiply by 2. That cancels out the 2s. So I get 8 is equal to this y from my d point minus 3. Because plus minus, same thing as minus. And then I need to add 3 to both sides to get rid of that. So 8 plus 3 is 11 is equal to my y from my d point. And so my other end point, here is my x, here is my y. My other end point is negative 7 and 11. Do we need to go through that one more time? Okay, going through it one more time, a little bit faster with a little less explanation on this one. So find the coordinates of R. N is my midpoint. So 8 is going to be equal to my X coordinate I don't know plus my X coordinate I do know divided by 2. And this is going to be my X, right? And then my Y is going to be equal to my Y coordinate here negative 3 is going to be equal to the y I don't know plus the y I do know divided by 2. Okay, so then I just need to solve it. 
Again, same process to get rid of divide by 2, you multiply by 2, so 16 is equal to x minus 1, add 1 to both sides, and you get 17 equals x. On this side, I'm going to multiply by 2, multiply by 2, that gets rid of the 2's, so this becomes negative 6 is equal to y plus 5, um, subtract 5 from both sides, and you get the point, or the coordinate negative 11 is equal to y. So final answer on this one is the coordinate of 17, negative 11 for my other endpoint. Okay, so this is endpoints, uh, what are we looking for, r. And on the last one, this was my endpoint, and this was d I was looking for. So d and R.